Hey everybody, happy holidays and welcome back to another video trophy guide for Black Ops 2 Zombies Transit. In this video we're going to show you how to get the Tower of Babel trophy. Uh, now right here we have step one, that's just to build the table. Here are the parts listed and uh, their locations. You can pause that if you need to. Uh, we're going to start here in the bus depot as usual. Now I'm just going to play through this part on solo. Uh, because all we're doing is the table build for this part. So I'm just going to speed through here. All I'm doing is building the turbine and getting outside. Uh, the table build does save to your profile. So what I plan to do is just build the table, let my guy die, and then start a new game. That way when we go for the, uh, for the actual trophy, we don't have to rebuild the table again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build the table here. Rodeo's already built the table on his profile, uh, so we don't have to worry about doing that uh, again after this. Uh, it makes things a lot easier in the long run. So uh, here we go. We're outside. I'm going to pick up the uh, the first part here in just a second for the table. That's that rock right here. Uh, it's at this hole in the wall. you got to crouch down. You pick that up. Now this zombie right here I made sure not to put any shots into. I'm taking him with me all the way down the line. I'm going to try to uh, keep the rounds as low as possible just to get this thing done here. So I'm going to get him on uh, attached to the outside of the bus and just carry him with me. So. Now, uh, on the way to build this table, again, the table we're building is in the cornfield. I'm going to show you some other locations. Now, if you look right here, there's the part for the turbine, but right next to it on the right-hand side. Now, there's nothing there now, but sometimes there's a plank there, and the plank is the second part for the table that we're building here today. So, um, since it's not there, we know for sure that it is at the power station. It's either in the tunnel or the power station, so we know the plank is uh, in the power station. Uh, now, here we are at the diner. I'm going to go ahead and go into the garage here. Uh, when you come into this side, if you look on top of this cabinet, now there's nothing there now, but sometimes there's a radio there. And if it's there, you just have to kind of hop up to grab it. And that's the third part we would need for the table we're building. Uh, since it is not here, that will be at Nocturne Toten. So uh, the radio is either the diner or knocked. And uh, it looks like for this playthrough, it will be at knocked. And the fourth and final part for the table that we're going to build could be right here at the farm, but I don't have the points to open that up. So uh, I'm just going to check for the part at the town first, and that way it'll save me points if it's there. So for right now, I'm just going to run into the cornfield. I am going to put the rock onto the table and uh, just start our build here. So I like to run into the cornfield on the uh, at the second entrance. I take the first left and then the first right, and I just follow it right around to the, uh, to the tower. And underneath the tower up against the fence is where you're going to build this table. For those of you who want to know how to get around a little easier in the cornfield or on the maps, if you go to www.tantrumdynamic.com, there'll be a link at the end of this video, and I have all of the maps, overhead maps laid out, and they have every item uh, in transit available marked on the maps for you. So uh, that will help you guys get around for some of you who don't know where some of this stuff is at. But for right now, I'm just going to run across to the other side. Uh, the other side of the cornfield here is where Noct Darun Totem is located. And uh, that's where the radio is going to be. Uh, if you remember, I said that it was not at the diner. Since it's not at the diner, we know it's there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a left here at the, uh, at the street lamp. Uh, this is just a big U shape. Again, you can check the maps if you want to online. Uh, they'll show you, you know, the general outline. When you get here about to the center, take a look to your right. There'll be a row that will take you right to Noct. And uh, when you get back there, you'll notice that Noct holds two parts this time. Uh, there'll be the radio. Uh, again, that's for the table we're building now. And there'll also be a part for the jet turbine that's always located here. Uh, we're not going to build the jet turbine this time around. Again, we're just building the table to get it out of the way. Uh, we'll do the jet turbine when I actually get in with another player. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to come in here if you look right. The radio is right here on this little table thing. But while we're here, even though we're not building the turbine, I'm going to show you this is one of the spots right here on these steps uh, that it can be the part for the turbine. And uh, sometimes it's over here, as you see, it's sitting right here. So I'm just showing it to you so that when we come back here later, you'll be familiar with this area. Uh, but for now, I'm going to swap it back out for the radio. And uh, I'm just going to fast forward. Basically, I'm just going to run back the way we came. I'm going to head back over to uh, the table, and I'm going to get this radio on there. And that will knock two of four parts out of the way for us. So then we'll only have two left. Now, uh, once we get this table built, uh, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and let my guy go down. I just wanted to save and, uh, you know, move it along a little bit. Uh, basically, I don't want to do all this in one run because then you have to go up a bunch of rounds, get points, do all kinds of things, and I would rather just, you know, separate it and break it up into separate parts. So uh, this run here doesn't have too much longer. We're about halfway through. Uh, you see I'm at the power station now. Basically, I just ran to the power station. I turned on the power. Uh, 
I'm going to kind of lure this zombie after me. Sometimes they have a tendency to die when I uh, run through the door too quick. So I'm going to wait on him a little bit. Uh, the part that we're looking for right now is the plank. As I said, it was not in the tunnel. That means that it will be located here. Uh, once we go up these steps here, there's the bottom portion over here. If you jump off of uh, the steps uh, to the left, right down here onto this walkway. You turn around, the plank will be on the floor to the right. Now, sometimes it can be scattered around down here. It could be over to the left or whatever. Again, check the maps and, and they'll show you the, the different locations those could be. But they, it will be at the power station if it's not in the tunnel. So you'll notice I don't have the plank uh, in my inventory anymore. That's because I went ahead and sped it up. I, I just kind of cut forward. Basically, all I did was run it back, put it on the table, then ran it back again to the power station and waited for the bus. So that's really all you missed. And now I'm just taking the bus to the town. And what we're looking for here is the fourth and final part. That's the, uh, the little electrical box. And uh, again, uh, originally it's usually located at the farm, but if it's not there, it will be here. And since the farm costs 750 per door to open, I like to check here first because I end up making two rounds anyway. So it doesn't cost me anything to come by here first. And if it were here, they would be located right up here next to the dumpster somewhere. Uh, it's pretty easy to see and hard to miss, so uh, it looks like we're not going to get that lucky this time. We're going to go ahead and have to... Uh, go around to uh, the farm and open it up to get it so I'll uh, just go ahead and move it forward basically I just took the bus around now we're at the farm I did go another round you notice I'm at round three I had to come up with enough points to get through the gate and through the door in the house here uh, it is located inside the house if you know where the fridge is at that's in the back it will be on the wall to the left of the fridge right here so there's uh, four four parts right there and that's the rock the plank the radio and the electric box so uh, again I'm just gonna go put this electric box on the table and when it's done I'm gonna let my guy die uh, and then I'm gonna go into another single player game and during that single player game all I'm gonna do is bank points and get Mustang and Sally and put it in the fridge because there's a lot of steps we have to complete uh, in a two-player game to get this trophy and you have to have Mustang and Sally both players have to have EMPs uh, you know you have to build the jet turbine so it makes things a lot simpler just to get some of that stuff out of the way up front so if you go into a game after this one you upgrade your pistols to Mustang and Sally you put Mustang and Sally in the fridge and then you bank uh, usually about 50 to 60 thousand points you'll already have everything you need to start your actual trophy run uh, so that makes things a lot simpler and uh, you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. Uh, we're about finished with this part. Uh, just all we got to do is just do the table thing here, and then we're going to move on. So uh, right up here against the fence. You're going to see it uh, tell me to put the nav card in, but uh, I did pick up a nav card. But when I try to insert it, it tells me it's the uh, incorrect nav card. So, uh, you know, right now I'm not quite sure what those do. Now for step two, we already went over this. This is the prep. Just go into another single player match, bank as many points as possible, upgrade your pistols to Mustang and Sally, place Mustang and Sally in the fridge, and make sure that whoever your second player is has the table built as well. And that will save you a lot of trouble for your trophy run. And then you can move on to step three, and uh, step three is to actually obtain the trophy. You're going to do Rick Toffin's storyline, so you have to have Samuel as a player because he's the only one that Rick Toffin talks to. You're going to have to build the jet turbine. Both players have to have EMPs, and you all want mics. Timing is essential uh, with this, especially with two players, so you need to have those. And, of course, like I said, uh, Mustang and Sally uh, points, and you have to set up portals and stuff. So now we're going for the actual trophy run. Uh, you're going to see me in here. I'm with Rodeo now. Uh, we are in a two-player game. We're setting out to get this trophy. Uh, for right now, all we're going to do is just take this, uh, th this first round of guys out and... Uh, Basically, we only need one person to have 750 and another person to have 1,000. That way, one of us can open up the power room and turn it on. The other one can go to the bank. Because all we're really going to do to start out here is just take the bus down to the bank, open it up, and get out our points so that we have everything we need uh, you know, to, to get our perks and our EMPs and everything. And on the way to the bank, we're going to pick up the parts for the turbine. So I'm going to jump out here. This is the first part for the turbine is the engine casing. It's located in the tunnel all the time. It's just different areas in the tunnel. This time it's back in the corner. For those of you who aren't sure where to find it, I'm going to throw up a map here for you. It's an overhead. If you look at the circled areas in green, that's where the turbine can be located, the engine casing part for it. And if you need to see these, uh, these maps, again, go to tantrumdynamic.com. The maps are there. All the maps for every major area and every item is listed. So Now we just switched over to Rodeo. 
Uh, we're looking at his player right now. He's just going to run through. He's going to be the one to turn the power on because I already picked up one part for the turbine, so he's going to pick up the second. And that way we just both carry him to the town. That's where we put the thing together. So he's going to come up here, and uh, the part that he's looking for is the wires. And the wires are always located uh, bottom section down here. He just dropped down on top of them. Uh, here's a map that will show you the most probable locations for the wires. And... Uh, he went ahead and picked those up. Uh, now he's going to come back around. And since he turned on the power and left on the power, we're doing Rick Toffin, so you got to leave on the power. Uh, this is what he'll say to Samuel. Ah, good job! Wunderbar! You've done well, my friend. But this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to heal. So you must convince your deaf friends to eat up the homeless. Setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you know how to build a portable engine of some sort, which Please might go very hard. Some sort of jet engine with an afterburner. Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. So, why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhund. That's this will kill you all. Okay, so basically he's just telling us to build the jet turbine, which we are already in the process of doing. So we're just going to get into the bank vault here. We're going to open up uh, the, the bank vault doors and just pull out all of our points. As I said, we're still on round one, so this makes it a lot easier to set everything up and get everything you need when you have bank points. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to get Juggernog, and then we're going to run over to the bar here. And in the bar area, back in the uh, left corner, is the table that we need to build the jet turbine. So... Uh, here we are putting on the first two parts, so that's two of four parts we need to build, build that turbine. To and uh, build now we have stuff. that out of the way. So I said we'll just get the perks, and we're going to come back out, and we're going to catch the bus, and we're going to make our <laughs> second trip around. Now on our second trip, we did stop and hit the box at the diner. We didn't get much out of it, and it moved. It transported here to the farm, which is where we were coming anyway. So it makes things uh, pretty convenient for us. Because inside the farm here, if you remember when I played my single-player game, I put Mustang and Sally in the fridge, so now I don't have to worry about upgrading the guns. We don't have to worry about, you know, opening anything else up. I already have them and they're ready to go. So I'll hit the box here. These are the EMPs that I need. Both players have to get these. Uh, I did get lucky. You know, I got it within my first couple of tries there, so uh, it made things uh, real simple for me. I didn't waste a whole lot of money, so. All right, now I went to split screen view. I'm in the upper left. Rodeo is in the lower right. Uh, the map I'm running is to the right of me. The map he's running is to the left of him. Uh, now, I've already showed you where the part is at Nocturne Toten. I showed you that during the first part of the video. So we're going to look at Rodeo's video instead. He's heading to the... Uh, Bowie knife shack and he's just kind of looking around for the gauge if you don't see it it's most likely in the fireplace you'll see that marked on the map but you always want to check that if you don't see it laying around it's probably in the fireplace so he went ahead and picked that up now uh, if you look to the upper left I'm going to pick this part up it's on the shelf this time so now between the two of us we have the last two parts for the turbine so we're both just gonna head back to the town here go to the bench and uh, he's already put his part on so this is the last part that Excellent. Your skills are superb. Now get this thing to the obelisk. We must hurry for Maxis is a busy little beaver. On the dummy bird will kill you all. Trust me. All right, so the jet turbine is built. We both have EMPs. I have Mustang and Sally. We are ready to go. What a fussy little thing. So I'm at the cornfield. I'm going to use this thing to heat up the obelisk. Try again. The obelisk must be as hot as you can make it. It's a 115. Once the only place to get that is from the flesh. The flesh! You must rest the 115 from the undead by killing them. Or boy, do you need a bunch of it. Get busy! And it looks like we have to lure these guys in front of the table and take them out with Mustang and Sally. So we'll start with round one here. That's the last guy we had. And basically for each round, I'm just grouping them up. I run them in a little circle until I get as many as I can. And I uh, take them out with one or two shots. And by the time you get to round five, you should have enough to move on to the next step. So you're going to notice that Rodeo's not with me on this one. That's because he went to the bus depot. 
uh, he's gonna start uh, the next step from there once I'm done here it's much easier with one person in this area since it's so small so but uh, we're at uh, round five here this should be enough I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out and uh, move on All right, so you're going to notice that the lamp posts at this stage, once you get all those zombies killed, they start blinking like crazy. And they start to look like that. And in order to cut the power by a factor of four, we're going to have to take out four of those lights with EMPs simultaneously. Now, there's only two of us in this game, so I'm going to go ahead and just teleport to the diner. That's where I'm going to start. Rodeo is going to start from the bus depot, and that's because both lamps are located within the areas and not in the mist, and it's easier to teleport and throw our EMPs. Now, remember, there's only two of us. we got to take out four posts. So we're going to have to time our throws perfectly. Basically, we both have to release at the same time, and you want to release while you're in the air because because you have to throw your second EMP when you uh, teleport you have to throw it as soon as possible so if you watch our screens here you're gonna see we're both gonna kind of set our EMP and we're gonna release while we're jumping into the portal and then that will let us get off another EMP real quick on the other side here so there that will be uh, four of these lamps taken out almost simultaneously and you'll know you'll hear Rick Toffin like he is in the background now congratulating you and the trophy will pop. If you didn't get the timing right you will hear Rick Toffin tell you so and he'll tell you that uh, you need to do it simultaneously so you got to get a max ammo and try again. But uh, in this case there we go we have it that's it for the Tower of Babel trophy. Uh, when you finish this trophy you're going to notice things act a little different. The uh, street lamps uh, start to do this they start to uh, blink like that and send a uh, beam to the tower. The box, every now and then, you'll see it do this when uh, certain weapons come up. And uh, the tower itself is going to look like this now. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, and for those of you who uh, like the maps that I put up, I have all the maps at tantrumdynamic.com. Feel free to go there and check them out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.